name that too. But what happened was I had an older brother who decided to go to St. Joe's Prep. Of course, I followed him to St. Joe's Prep. Right. So we wound up in the in the Southern Division. Okay. And you guys, Cardinal Doctor was in the Northern Division. Yeah. So we would only play if we got into the championship. So we played like schools like Roman Catholic, okay. and Monsignor Bonner, and Archbishop Carroll, yeah. and Cardinal O'Hara, and, and all these different schools. Whereas, you know, Cardinal Doctor, he was like Ryan, Judge, Doctor, Yeah, we were playing all like the, the more inner city, inner oh, city yeah. schools, yeah. And so, but I had a brother who played at Doctor, so I remember going over to Northeast High School uh -huh. watching the games. Yeah. And I just, one thing I remember about Cardinal Doctor was the marching band. Like the yes. marching band was like almost played like- for the Pope. The marching band was almost like world renowned. It was like a band that it came, was and, it was world renowned. And when I went there, so they marched for the Pope. I think in the seventies, yeah. right? They marched for the Pope in the seventies, and everybody still talked about it when I went there oh, yeah. in the early two thousand. So it was the pride and joy of Doctor. It was our remember, band that marched for the Pope. I just remember, I just remember going to some of the games, and these buses would pull in. There'd be like six buses, and I'd be like, I'm like, what's going on? Like, oh, that's oh, the here band. Comes, here comes the Doherty like, marching yeah, band. It, it wouldn't be all like, five hundred of them. It wouldn't be like, yeah, like two buses or three buses. No. It'd be like six buses. Yes. I'm like, what's you know what I mean? It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Do you remember what it was about the game since you started playing so young that really made you fall in love with it? Was and and you know not any other sport, right? Like you just yeah, stuck with football. I did. Do you know Do you know why? Or is there a memory that you well, have? I, where... I grew up in a house with older brothers. Okay. And they and they and they played, and the and the neighborhood kids played. Right. And my dad, even though he never really played, he loved the sport. Like okay. He'd watch like you know our house, my mom and dad every weekend. We'd have college football on yeah. and when it wasn't college football be NFL games you yeah. watch the Eagles game you watch all the games yeah and so I just kind of grew up around it it was what we did I grew up in a neighborhood you know yep. like the Fox Chase where yeah. you know every kid you, we'd, we'd, we'd walk around the neighborhood knocking on doors hey can Joey come out and play go, right. hey can Tommy <laughs> come out and play and that's what we did yeah I can't forget Matt's alma mater LaSalle oh that's right Matt right. Alba behind yeah. the camera you can't see him went to LaSalle that's only okay. because he couldn't get into Doherty or the press. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's, that's exactly why. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. So he couldn't yeah. pass the entrance exam, so that's, he went up at LaSalle. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in the dean's office at Doherty um, during, I had a study hall, and I was like, I just can't sit in here. So I went down to the dean's office, it was Mrs. McDonald, and I said, I always used to get in trouble for dress code violations, because I always wanted to wear makeup and earrings and, you know, the whole nine. No, was not, you so, couldn't do it, right? No, so I walk in to the dean's office, I'm working in there, and I used to go through the lost and found just to see what was oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. And the one day so good I dug. Stuff short, right? uh, yes, yes. So I dug right. this one up, and um, I've had this for 15 years. Doherty. I think we were kind of notorious for being one of the instigators of some of the of some of the fights that. Of course happen. you were. Yes. Of course you were. I know, but I, I mean, I can't. That I have just learned behavior. You know, I can't really <laughs> take any responsibility for it. It's just kind go, of like this kind of goes with the territory. Well, you right? grow you grow up in a neighborhood. Yeah. You kind of have your neighborhood. Um, affiliation yeah. and it's it was very territorial and i liken it to kind of how philadelphia sports fans are right you think about it we're so territorial about our city and nobody oh, yeah. can talk about us but that's because it starts at a young age and it starts with your neighborhood what i about, remember my neighborhood sign that's that was lc lc for long crest oh, and i remember wow. fox chase and again this is a violation you flipped it over and it was fc oh, see that see yeah. that see that I remember, I remember one time not this field but it was like those fields out there yeah. i remember like in the summertime, if the grass would be this high, yep. like, I think they were, they were on strike or something, and like someone would hit a ball, and like the ball would stop. Like, yeah, it, and like, you'd it have to like go find it. And it would like stop. Like, yeah. and, then, and the kids would be like looking at the ball. <laughs> it was crazy.